ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Brooke and I post beauty related content on the reg. On the reg. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of that. But for today's video, we are doing more of a natural. I say this because there's nothing really natural about this, but we're doing more of a natural, open eyed, fresh skin makeup tutorial. And before we get into today's video, if you don't know, now you know. I am currently doing a giveaway of a bunch of my favorite products. I will have that linked down below the video where that is so you guys can figure out how to enter, but it is only open for a couple more days, so enter the giveaway for a chance to win some of my favorite things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and without further ado, let's hop into today's tutorial. Let's see, so the first thing I'm gonna do today is the skin. Just kidding, I lied, I'm not. So what I'm going to do is take a bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to use this as a primer today just because I love it and it's pigmented which means everything I put on my lid is going to come out true to color which is what you want when you spend time beating your face. Although we're not going to spend too much time beating our face today because this is a natural, quick, and easy makeup look, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe, like, it is so weird to me that March is almost over. And I say that every single month, but it's just so true. Like, time just keeps flying by quicker and quicker, and it's genuinely freaking me out. I don't know what's going on. What I'm gonna do now is go in and set my lid with a bit of vanilla by my Anastasia, by my Anastasia. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is just for my contour kit. I'm just putting this on my lid so that nothing creases and everything just looks simpatico. So now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 15N palette, which I absolutely Absolutely love. I mean, hello, can we talk about these tones right here? I'm gonna be taking the shade Shook right there and I'm gonna be popping that into my crease as my transition color, slowly blending that upwards once there is little to no product left on the brush. I'm not worrying about being too precise with this color because today's look is quick and easy. Anything that kind of comes down onto the lid, I'm not gonna worry about. I'm gonna be taking the shade Creativity. I'm going to pop this onto the lid and then blend it out. I'm gonna go on and line up tape on my outer corner because I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner in the shade Richie. It is just a nice brown warm liner and I'm gonna go in and do a line and smoke it out. And I'm not gonna be worried, I'm not gonna be worried. I'm not gonna worry about being too precise with this line here because we are gonna go in and blend it out. I have been living for doing my liner like this lately. If you are a reg, a regular on my channel, you know that because I've been doing a lot lately. To blend out my liner, I'm gonna go in with a bit of Va Va Voom. Slightly just bring this into this outer V here. Blending that liner kind of out in that area. Very, very lightly, nothing too crazy. Now I'm gonna go in and fill in my brows with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. I'm gonna zoom you guys out a tad. I'm gonna go in and do my face. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of my favorite, Liquid Glow. I have included this in my giveaway because I want you guys to experience the amazingness that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow. I actually was so nervous when I was looking for it because I didn't see it. The shade that I wanted, they only had one left and it was all the way in the back and I was like, oh no, like I had to get it for the giveaway. So I'm so happy that I was able to pick that up for you guys because I truly think whoever does win the giveaway that they will absolutely absolutely love it because it is just the bomb.com. And I'm just going in and blending that out with my sponge. All right, and then for primer, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my Step One Skin Equalizer by Makeup Forever. I'm gonna put this down my T-zone so that I don't get oily. And then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of my Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics just in the very inner corner of my under eye just so that I can get some of that darkness out of there because I'm tired, you guys. I had a little bit of a crazy weekend. And then you guys know the drill, going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna put this under my eye and then just going in and just spot concealing wherever I feel like I need it. This is what I do on a daily basis. I don't wear foundation on a daily basis because sometimes you just don't have time for it. Um, mostly like every time, I just don't have time for it. Because I procrastinate when I get ready and therefore I just never have enough time. So I'm just going to go in and put this where I feel like I need it. And then I'm going to go in and blend it out with my Morphe sponge. And then bringing some of this down just like so.
So then taking this same sponge, I'm going to dip into my No Color Powder by RCMA and I'm going to set my under eye with this, just going in and then I'm not going to bake or anything, I'm going to tap it down and then just go right in and push it into the skin. If you have not tried applying your powders like this, I promise you it'll change your life. Thank me later. It really truly makes it look like skin and not powder, which is naturally what you want. Then I'm gonna go in and put a coat of Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder. The reason why I don't wear foundation on a daily basis is because this powder and my concealer combination gives me all of the coverage that I need. I don't really feel like I need full coverage on a day-to-day -day basis, don't get me wrong, I love full coverage, but it's just too time consuming and quite frankly, I really don't like having that much makeup on my skin for 12 hours at a time um, because breakouts, you know? So I'm putting a light layer of this all over and then I'm going back in and putting a little bit of an extra layer over the parts where I feel like I need it. So I'll just put a little bit on my cheeks right here, a little bit where I'm breaking out on my forehead and then I have a little bit of a breakout on my chin so I'm just gonna go in and cover that up as well. That's one thing I love about this powder is it's buildable. So I can go in and do like one full sweep of powder and then I can kind of go in and build up the coverage where I feel like I need it. Now I'm gonna go in with my new favorite bronzer which is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. This is absolutely amazing. It reminds me a bit of Nars Laguna, which I think is why I was so drawn to it because Nars Laguna was my favorite, favorite bronzer a couple years ago and I haven't used it in a hot minute because I've been out of it, but I know if I went back to it, I'd love it just as much just because it is such a staple and such a classic for me because it does have a bit of that like reflex in it and it's not too dark. It's like the right tone. So I love this and if you have the chance to try it out, I would because it's amazing. I love Too Faced. Their products never disappoint ever 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 so this just gives such a nice natural glow you really can't go wrong now I'm gonna go into my champagne collection face palette by Becca this is their collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and I'm just gonna take this shade right here this is rose spritz and I'm just gonna apply that as my blush today this is a beautiful pinky blush that has a really nice glow to it now going in with the same palette, I'm gonna mix the two highlight shades together right here and apply these to the high points of my face. So my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and a bit on my cupid's bow. Now I'm just gonna go in with a blank brush, even though this has product on it, it's just because I blend my face products out with it. So I'm just very lightly just gonna go around where I put everything down and just slightly blend it out because, you know, you don't want lines. I don't wanna look like a Neapolitan ice cream. So just going in and blending that out. So for my highlight shades today, I'm gonna dip into my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I'm gonna be taking this second highlight shade right here. This is like one of my go-to highlight shades. It's a brow lift and a shadow, okay? It's awesome. I'm gonna go in and coat my lashes and apply a pair of these Eyelor Wispy lashes on. I'm gonna do this off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, I'm gonna go in with Coconut by Morphe. This is a white liner and I'm going to line my lower waterline with this just to help open up my eyes and add to the more natural effect of this look as I have practically a full face of makeup on. But now that I have that on, I'm just gonna go in and very lightly blend it out using that shade Shook from the Morphe palette. This was the first transition shade we used. I'm just taking my Morphe M432 flat shader brush and or flat definer brush and I'm just gonna go in and press and wiggle this onto that lash line and then I'll go in with a separate brush and blend it out. This just helps to get the product down on there. It's not very fluffy, so it's not the best for blending out, so that's why I go in with a separate brush. You'd also do like the brown liner that we use instead of white liner, however, I want to stick with more of that natural looking vibe, so I went with white liner, and then just going in and very lightly blending that out. I'm just going to go in and apply a quick coat of mascara onto my lower lashes. Lastly, I'm just going to go in with Dainty by Morphe. This is just one of their liquid lips, and I'm just going to put this all over. Alright, so this completes today's video. I hope you guys liked today's look. If you did, please clip live. Please click that thumbs up button down below as well as that bell button so you get notified whenever I post. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enter my giveaway. It is open until Friday, March 30th, so make sure you get on on that to get a chance to win some of my favorite products. Feel free to leave comments down below letting me know what kind of videos you guys would want to see from me next and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! as well as that bell button and the notification button. So wait, that was the same button. Now I'm gonna go in and
Jesus, Brooke, get it together. So now I'm gonna go in and coat my lashes with a bit of mascara. Now I'm gonna go in and coat my lashes for my giveaway. Oh my god, I forgot to put a lip color on. Oh my god, okay, what's wrong with me? Just because. Oh.